Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Songs of Six, the massive scale empire builder. We're going to be building our little city, growing into a large city, and surviving everything. But welcome. So we're going to have like some rage crowded population. We get a lot more. I think we'll have a damn big size. Let's try. So this game is currently on Kickstarter. I do recommend backing it if you can. Uh, also recommend if you actually do this. Uh, the test is currently active. Like you can just play this prototype alpha yourself. Um. Okay, got all the water over there. That's good. I'll be somewhere in the centre near the trees. Let's go here. Oh, there is nowhere here. This is good. Okay, start here. First things first, if you can, set up some farms uh, in the green area. We have to move the farms to the uh, green area on the other side very soon, but right now we'll go for that there and there. There we go. So also while we're at it, we're going to set up a woodcutter here. Get some stuff in. So first thing we're gonna do is let's see. Pause here. So I wanna build something. I wanna build this is gonna start off as a barracks uh, for my people. It's gonna turn into a training centre. It's gonna be one, two, one, two. So it's gonna be one, two, one, two, one, two. Actually no, it should be like this. Like this, so I go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's going to be one wider. Like that. Because it's going to be uh, 16 training areas, and they're two by two, and need a gap to walk in. One, two, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four. There then. One, gap, two. So it's one, gap, two, gap, three, gap, four. Yeah, okay, there we go, that's it. So the size of this is going to be there. We can build a uh, barrack area in here to start off with. And we're going to start having our people live in here. So yeah, we get the farms up and running. Then we're going to get rid of some of the uh, trees because we need the trees to be cut down. And then, obviously we're going to start on stuff like stone and so on. But yeah, we need to get the farms up and running just to make sure things are okay. Guys, please finish the farms off. The farms are more important. Guess they're not. One of the forms is done at least. So that guy there will be making vegetables, like obviously get some fruit. It also, because I'm building them early, gives us access to those resources if we run out. Now we should be able to find wild vegetables and things next to the river, but that depends upon the season. So we do need the ability to actually, you know, get those resources already. Of course, we don't really have access to grain because we can't really use it for anything yet until we get a kitchen. Plenty of wood, though. One farm. Let's stop this for now. Oops, I got rid of the farm. So, yeah, we're going to build a furniture workshop because we need furniture to build beds. So we need a basic storage for food. So everything's going to be inside here to start off with, and then we can obviously expand later. So do that to there. Then we get these. There. That gives us some crates. Obviously we're going to have a workshop to make furniture, because furniture is actually needed. For most things in the game. But it's going to be a basic one there. Like I say, you're going to supposed to be moved later on. Because this is meant to be like the grand hall for our throne. This is obviously meant to be the training rooms for our Imperial Guard. But right now, it's a little bit meh. Also, I will not be clicking anywhere up at the top of the screen here. If I do that at a certain time, it activates my bandy cam. Because I can't click on the game, I'm recording the screen. Which means if I click on that, it will tab me out of the game. If I don't notice, I don't record the game. This is my second attempt at recording this. There we go. Don't have a carpenter. We have this. Let's give it 
Uh, veg and meat. There we go. I have one person work on it. We have four people here working on furniture. We've gained people. Look at that. Because we have food in storage, we're gaining population, which isn't good. That's actually not good at all. We have not yet prepared anything. They should not be here. This is a problem. So we have to, start make, we have to make this a temporary bedroom then. There. So while that's it. So I'm going to build everything out of wood. I'm obviously transform it later into stone. Right now, of course, I don't have access to that much stone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. This will be a bedroom. Like this. There we go. This gives us 24 of those. See it building up. It's gonna take a while, but we are getting there. 21 people. Oof. Let's actually get some hunters out there as well. We need some hunting going on. Oh look, new people. We're gonna have uh, meat. Yeah, I got meat, veg, okay good. Grain and also mushroom. Where's mushroom? There it is. Okay, so we actually need to edit this, I think. Get another one of these down. And then get some auxiliary equipment going on. That makes efficiency better. There we go. Now has eight people working on it. That means a lot more furniture should be made. We'll get a bedroom up and running soon. Okay, let's stop preparing the rest of our base while we're at it. So this is what was this? Eleven by thirteen. That's easily done. And like I say, we're gonna start clearing this out later. Yeah, we are mainly just waiting for them to finish off the furniture. We even start setting up roads as well, why not? So we'll have a one gap around the, the actual castle itself, actually. No, the castle is meant to be impressive. We'll have a, three a two gap around the castle. And a three gap around the wall outside the castle, and we're building a wall as well. We'll do this, yeah. So as you can see, we're building epically. Now I haven't really got many plans, but I have a rough idea in my head. So I'm gonna go with that. We've got a three by three for the main road. And then I actually want, I'm just going to lay down the beginnings of it, an actual fortifi fortified position. One, two, three, this. So it's be like two away from this wall here. But I actually want the rest of the city to be three away. So from the wall be like uh, one, two, three there. You see one, two, three, and two away from the main road. And we're at ten by ten. Then I want like a storage area behind it. There's one, 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 two, one, there we go. Like that. So this is gonna be where we actually build our equipment and weaponry with a small storage behind it. So as you can see, I am planning. Just gonna take a bit of time. Because right now, of course, our entire city is our keep. We're literally living inside our keep. Two people have died. Why? We've got food. Must be dying from killing the animals. Is there any wild fruit on the river? 
No. So we're in trouble. So we have to kill the animals, and the animals are killing us. Yay! Luckily, the more animals... Okay, we lost another person. The more animals we kill, though... The more food we have, and the more we are liked. Let's turn on animals. Let's delete this. Yes, the more food we have stored, the better. Obviously, we are losing people. We are still building up as well. Looks like we're mainly working on the road right now, which I'm okay with. So I've got the bedroom up and running yet. It's going to take a while. Okay, still resting. Probably need some bigger farms. That'll be time and a half. Also, if you ever want to actually build more water, there's a water table on every map. That's how much you can do. So I can have 700 tiles of water added extra. If I want any more than that, I have to start deleting the river. You do not get any extra water. What you have is the water table and whatever's water's on the map already. So I may have to majorly divert the river to make anything epic looking with water and moats. But we'll see. We'll see. The basic walls going around the city. Or at least to keep. Okay, the bedroom's still going. Eighty-six meats, uh, no fruit or veg really, so that's a problem. Didn't start with any mushroom, we have to find some of those. All we've got now is meat to live off of. Still no raw edible vegetation. None even slightly. That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, let's get let's start moving the hunters around. Uh, okay, there. Get rid of that one. Come on, we've nearly got a bedroom up. There we go. That should win us some points. The more people we have happy with us, the better. We've just gained an extra person at least, but we ought to start losing people. How much is our food? We have... 82 meat. We have no... Ah, my own fault there. Did we need the grain? Guess we did. Guess we are going to have to get some grain. Okay, we now have a bedroom. That'll make people a little bit happier. Let's edit it a bit more so it fills this gap here. Done. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it's going to take a while to build anything good. Six by six, it won't even get me that much out there. <sighs> Got to expand that. Just really keep expanding. Ten by ten. One gap. One, two, gap, one. There we go. So these will be our military positions. Look at that. There's loads of animals over there. How's our food looking? We'll also be needing a new storage area too, but now we have people wondering about we can actually use them. We'll be needing a military at some point in the future, but not quite yet. Okay, there.
One, two. So that's four wide. Give a sec. One, one gap. One, two 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 gap. One. It's to be there. One. Gap one two 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 gap one yeah okay that's where this is our storage so we can have people wondering there'll be a lot of crates this will be like where we get our main priority for food and resources this is obviously where our military equipment will be stored okay I want to keep on expanding and growing it's just going to take a bit of a while. Should be a walkway around the outside of the place if I'm honest. So I'd like this to be like the um the peasant area where people live. I'd like a like a workshop area maybe over here somewhere. But we'll work on that. That's gonna take a while. And also like a road around the outside. I may have to start deleting certain buildings now I'm looking at it. Oh, I like the idea of like there being a walkway around the outside. Again, we'll work on it. Got plenty of stone and resources, got 40 people now. Got a workshop, yeah, I'd like a workshop district set up. I've obviously got a defensive wall around my keep. I'd like to upgrade that to stone once we get enough stone in. So some of these areas are going to be prepared. So this is going to be, oh, what's it called? Our oh, military battle gear smith. So you have this going on. Got that snoring. So that's our battle gear smith. This needs metal which we don't have being produced yet, but it exists. So as you can see we have another one over there so we can constantly make equipment for our infantry. We'll be needing training and stuff going on, but that's another different thing. Okay, I have a plan here. So, beds are three, if I remember correctly. Let me have a look. How big are beds? One, two, three, and a gap. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I could just build these massive, massive areas with, you know, huge numbers of beds, but I'd like it to at least look like a city. One, two, three, four. Extend it by there. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's like 7, 14, 21, 28 here. It'd be like 28 people. Then like I could have, say, maybe a tavern or something in between and another one on the other side. So this would be like where our main sleeping quarters are. Obviously we're still building, we still need more stone and wood. But I think we have a very solid foundation of awesome. A very solid foundation of awesome. Because there is going to be sieges, we are going to be attacked by tens of thousands of soldiers. We need to 
be prepared, which means we need peasantry to die for our sins. Because quite frankly, I'm not going to die for my sins. <coughs> also, I have to also get some lights down as well. Like these lights will be helpful because I'll be able to light things up. I think one of the reputation things is having lights. Food stores are empty. So you always need to make sure we have food. And obviously food is a bit of an issue early on. I wonder if there's any actual... Come on, there's going to be some veg vegetables. Nothing. There's nothing on the entire map. Typical. But you have 40 people. We should be okay. We've got to keep on growing. But yeah, it's going to be a massive storage house. 172... Mm, 1500 wood. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Now I have to cancel this. If you're trying to do certain things like that, and it suddenly gives up, like, here's what happened during the year, it will just make you drop what you're doing. Which, most of the time, is okay, unless you're dragging something, in which case, then you're in a bit buggered. Okay, so this is going to be storage 101. This is going to be food storage. Two, like that. Good. As you can see, that's food storage. Done. Dead simple. Of course, we need more wood and stone, but we're getting there. Then we can move this out of the area. I can get another one on the other side as well, which will be our regular storage. How big is this? 20 by 12, okay. Like that, do this. Still unsure about the back piece, but yeah, I'd like to turn this obviously into stone at some point, but I'll take wood for now. Yeah, to actually expand and start deleting the buildings afterwards, that will be expensive, but I am prepared to do it. You know, start off with basic things like, I don't know, villagey wood, then go to stone town. Just as soon as we get the resources to do so. Wood right now is very plentiful. Stone kind of is too, but I imagine we'll go through that really quickly. Really quickly. Look at that, it's even popping up on the map already. Oh wait, if I get rid of that, maybe I'll do something else. So everything you build needs to be maintained. When your people aren't doing jobs, they'll maintain them. Someone just died. But if you have janitors, they'll do that no matter what. We are out of resources. Again. We need to get some more food being prepped. Let's start preparing larger crop fields. Like that. There we go. We'll be needing resources for those. That should be okay. Can we? Oh, there's something. We found some food at least. Grab it all. 
I was up with lion hunting. We're obviously going to grab as much uh, stuff as we can, build up, and then start going to grab the food, which hopefully not have rotted away or died. But we'll see. We'll see. Do this, obviously I want uh, these as well. Each one of these is going to take up 10 boxes for now. I'd also like to actually have it carry the Globion eggs from eating those to make a pasture. I think Globions are frogs. Also while we're at it, we're going to get a fishing place down. They've got two fishing places down, there's more stuff being brought in. Okay, let's delete this. I have four people working here. We have nine people spare now, but they are doing their jobs. Okay, people are now officially starving, that's a starvation sign. Okay, there we go. Vegetables are being brought in, we have food again. 13 vegetables. Some of those will be going towards the farmland, I feel. Yeah. A lot of the food is going towards this. And there we go, our new farm is active. We just let another person died. Well, we got 21 vegetables. Oof. Okay. Food is high on the agenda. I did just build it on our wood cutting, but I don't care. I can move the wood cutting. So okay, fish is now arriving in large numbers, good. Food is now turning up. There we go, we're actually getting reputation again for having food. It will, it will, it will go down, it's past a certain point, but yeah. Obviously this is a good sign, getting food back in. But this is going to be a bedroom. We'll work on research and stuff later. I don't know, I needed that extra gap in the middle. And it's the same size as this, apparently. Just realised that. Uh... Do I need it to be this extra big? 7, 14, 21, 28, so I put it over there, it'll be 56. That's 112 if I, do, if I double it. I don't know. I don't know if I need this gap in the middle, but it should make it cozier so people are happier. Again, it's more about um, making a city. I could just build barracks dead easy, but making it too meh? Have to see. So there's two different types of tables. There's the tavern tables, which are like three by two, and then I think there's like the bar tables, which are like five by three. But they, of course, need extra space as well to go round them. I quickly pause here. So be like So be <sighs> table no. Be a bit bigger I think. So be table Table 
So the table there, table there. Yeah, so the table here, there'll be a gap to get in. So here, here. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, I don't know. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, yeah. This looks like it should be correct. I mean, I can easily delete it later. This looks like it's how it should be. This is like a lot of space, as you can see on the map. That's only giving me 100 people. So I'm going to do one on the other side too. Oh wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? So I'm trying to plan things. Anyway, we'll figure this out in the next one. I've been the Fallen Shogun. I will work this out in my head. That was a mistake. We are building the city, as you can see. It's not much to look at, but we already have the beginnings of a keep. We have some farmland currently ongoing. And we do have the beginnings of our barracks and storage. Either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Shout out for now, people. Be awesome, be epic, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Hopefully.